We capture all of the wastewater in the basement. We treat all of that wastewater and we send it back up for a beneficial purpose, either in the form of flush water, cooling tower water, irrigation of the green roof, uh, sidewalk maintenance, and most recently it's gotten approved for laundry as well. And you say, why did they do that? All right, because Battery Park City Authority said, we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna require developers that come in here to do it differently. And Albany's, all right, Albany's organization developed this building and they also developed the Solaire. All right, which was done in 2003. Albany's organization is a real estate firm that's been around for about 60 years now. And I guess it was about 15 years ago when we started developing sustainable buildings. What's very important for Albany's uh, organization is that we have a good product. And Albany's organization is a long-term owner. This was a very important partnership for us. They not only Im implemented the plan for us, but they maintain it, they monitor the water and make sure that it's run very efficiently. Integrated water resource management includes having an understanding of the entire water cycle and knowing how this building interacts with its surrounding environment and all forms of water. We're now in the basement of the Visionaire, this 450,000 square foot building in less than 2,000 square feet in this room, we treat all the wastewater for the building. It all flows above us in this big black pipe and enters into the feed tank. This feed tank is an equalization tank. It holds that raw wastewater until we're ready to process it and as we need it for the reuse purpose. Once it comes into the tank, it'll flow first through this trash basket. The trash basket removes large solids and the rest of the influent will fall into the tank. Once it's ready to be processed, the feed pumps will actually transfer the wastewater from this tank into our process tanks. Process tanks are both anoxic and aerobic. We'll first go through the anoxic tank into the aerobic tank. The aerobic tank is continuously aerated with the fusers that are on the bottom of the tank. That air provided by these blowers that you see behind you will go into the tank and provide oxygen to the microorganisms that are actually doing the work. After going through the process tanks and removing the nutrients, we then have to filter out the solids. This is a Xenon Z-Weed 500 membrane. Okay, this is a high-end filter which removes the solids. Once the water has been filtered, it'll travel through these white pipes above and come through our disinfection system. Okay, we have three forms of disinfection here at Division Air. First is ozone, followed by ultraviolet radiation and sodium hypochlorite. The entire system is controlled by this PLC, or Programming Logic Controller. This will monitor flow rates, it will monitor all alarm conditions so that we know how the system is operating. In addition to that, we have a turbidity meter. Okay? This turbidity meter will monitor the turbidity continuously. I'll show you the finished product. So we've taken what was once considered a waste product and we've treated it to a level for beneficial purposes. In doing that, we've reduced our potable water needs by over 50% and we've reduced our discharge into the sewer by over 60%. Cheers.